Look at that nose. Oh my god. So, Artie Lang is obviously still using. And, I mean, this picture is a couple of days old. I saw his um, tweet on Twitter basically where he admitted he's still using every second of every day. Someone was asking within the context of uh, the latest season on Crashing when it was like shooting it. Was he high? But he's, he's ever not been high. So he's obviously still using. Now this drug court thing is supposed to be coming up soon. And everyone keeps telling me, you know, that's the super real thing. But like I said, you'll probably go out partying before you have to ever deal with real consequences. Now, I posted um, a video yesterday of him trying to explain what really happened to his nose. Uh, what's his name? Anonymous in the comments put a really good um, <laughs> a really good point in the comments. Like he said, uh, <laughs> like we believe any more of Artie Lang's James Bond stories because like he always has a James Bond story now. <laughs> like it goes like remember when. Um, He's just showed up to the AA show after he first got arrested out of nowhere when Gavin McGinnis was co-hosting and his head was shaved. And then he said his head was shaved because he got beat up in jail by this rapper named Crucifix with a crowbar or something. <laughs> so if you look at his like new story about how What's his new story about? He was the what? Some black kid who worked for his bookie showed up, punched him in the face, then kidnapped him. First of all, his story makes no sense in any way, shape, or form. All right, so he meets this black dude. They don't talk, so the black kid just punches him in the face. Right? Are we then to believe? He drags Artie's fat ass to a van. So, <laughs> and then once they get to the van, he picks up an unconscious Artie, puts him in the van. And then the kid gets scared. So he lets Artie go, but according to Artie, he, the kid just like left the van. So, like, Artie just walked out of the van, didn't know where he was. When he just called an Uber and go. Back home. See, his story makes zero sense, dude. Like, honestly, if anything did happen, like, physically to his face, instead of just uh, um, drugs, he probably just, like, passed out or stumbled and slammed his stupid face on something. And he's just trying to make it sound a lot cooler than what it is. But even if you look at this picture, like... The dude can't stop using, so, like, there's, like, dry blood, just, like, it almost, you know, like a snot bubble, but just a blood coming out of his nose. Ugh. It's so disgusting. <laughs> Artie, what did you do to your nose, dude? Come on. But, uh, I mean, he's trying to do some word explanations on, uh, you know, uh, you know, my bookie, and, uh, you know. It's like, dude, at, see, the saddest part about him lying is, like, it's almost like he's trying to convince himself at this point. I mean, does anyone actually believe anything he's saying? Like Anonymous said, does anyone believe these James Bond stories? Like, <laughs> What's his next story going to believe? Uh, my nose got messed up. I went skydiving, and... Uh, uh, the, the parachute didn't open, but I su surprisingly survived. It's like, you can say some weirdo stuff like that. I mean, come on, dude. But, um, so, I get, what is it? I think literally in like three days or something, he's going to start the drug court. And apparently, that's when it gets really serious. I guarantee you, he pops on that first drug test they give him. So, his first day of drug court, when he does pop on a drug test, he will. Uh, we'll find out right then and there if this drug court is serious or not. 
if everyone is what they make it out to be. Because if he will pop on that drug test, and when he does, if they don't do anything, we'll all know, oh, it's just another thing. So, I don't know, I don't know how much I was buying his story. Like I said, his story sounds like complete BS to me. His nose looks like a mess, atrocious. I am buying any of his Jamaican beat me up, crucifix beat me to jail with the crowbar story. I believe in any of them, but uh, yeah, he's still using, so we'll see what happens going forward.